there, my little fellers. Today, we're going to be doing another Nerf Versus with the Rhino Fire and the Enforcer. The Enforcer is a lot like the Dark Storm, so I don't really need that. But the um, similarity is that they're both basically heavies, both turrets, and they have a similar amount of capacity. This has 40, this is 50, and I'm going to go over the pros and cons with these. The pros with this is that it is high capacity. And I guess you could say easier reload. It could be... No, this definitely has easier reload. The cons with this, though, is that the there's like a little like bipod under here. But it always comes off. And it always jams. But for us, ours somehow doesn't jam. And if you take out one uh, magazine... The other one can't fire it because of a lot, uh, like because of some type of mechanism. And here is the uh, rev switch. You kind of had to go push it halfway down to rev up, and then you pull it all the way down to actually fire. And it's yeah, like I said, it jams. This pro is that it has an on-off switch. It doesn't really um, well c compared to this. It's better, but usually some people prefer. Um, Rev switches, but it just has an off off switch, and and it yeah 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 you can also hold this also way lighter. This is way lighter than the Rhino Fire, and it also has a chain because chains are good. Okay, coolness. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. You can add that, <laughs> but and it's just you can just pull this, take out the chain, or just simply just load it. What because you're stupid, but. I'd say the pros against this is that it doesn't jam. It never really does jam. And it actually takes six A, I mean, double A batteries instead of six D batteries. And that is annoying as hell. So we're going to be firing it. And my little cameraman is going to be wearing a suit, not a cuphead suit. Yeah. And we're going to be firing the Rhino Fire first without the bipod because screw that. Oh, 10 yards each. Okay. So we're also, we're just going to check of the damage. Not damage, just like, not really FPS, but. Let's turn this on. Hold a minute. So. I'd say this has definitely more compact and better FPS. Usually with Elite Darts, it has around 90 FPS, which is, makes it hard to hit people. This, I don't know how much FPS, but you can see it's not that far. And when it didn't jam, it doesn't like fire that like far at all. You don't have to picture there. And I'd say the winner is actually the Dark Storm. It's heavy, so I can't really hit it. Mainly because, one, it's just lighter, cheaper, hold, not hold more darts, just easier to use, better, more reliable, better than two mags that jam a lot and has a bad revving switch and a bipod that barely ever stays on. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it came off. The bipod actually came off, so I'd actually recommend the Enforcer. Did I call it the Dark Storm a little bit before? They're really similar, so I don't know. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd rather pick the the Enforcer than the Rhino Fire. Because, just bad. It just feel bad. It looks cool, but that's it. Well, this is the end of this video. Well, see you later, fellers.